Hey guys, Jacob Dupre here. I'm going to show you how to time stretch in FL Studio 20. First thing we need to do is find a sample that we can stretch. Let's go to packs. Let's find some drums. We'll go to loops. We'll test this out. I like that one. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it in. Now, our current project is set to 150 beats per minute. This sample is clearly slower than that, but FL will go ahead and fix it to match that tempo because it is an FL loop. Now if I slow it down, say I want it to be 110 BPM, it will adjust the sample accordingly. Now let's say I want to add a bass line to that. I have one picked out already. I'll go to my samples and go to JH Bass I have here. Sounds good. Let's bring that in. Now this will not match up with the tempo of the current project. I already know that because I know I pulled this sample in from another project that had a different BPM than this project. It doesn't fit, right? So what I need to do is go ahead and time stretch it to make it fit the BPM of the project. I can do that, but I first need to make sure stretch is enabled. You can see that it currently is. There's this button here. Now stretch is disabled. Now time stretching is enabled. All you have to do is press that to turn it on and off. Now, if I come to the end of the audio sample region, these little arrows will show up and I can drag it in either direction. But what I want to do is stretch it in a way that will make it match the tempo of my project. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to mess around with it a little bit until I get it close. So that's pretty close, but it's not all the way there yet. So what I need to do is get in closer and line it up with this measure line here. And right now I can't move it by smaller increments than this. But if I press option and click and drag, now I can move smaller increments and I can make sure it lines up perfectly with the end of this measure. Now let's play back and listen to that. So now we fixed the timing, but we've changed the pitch. So how do we make the pitch go back to what it was? We can do that by going over the sample, double clicking, and opening the sampler window. Now under time stretching, we have a few options. We have pitch, the multiplicator, and we have time, time stretching. We've already time stretched and we don't really need to mess with these other ones because we're going to go to mode. So I'm going to change the mode as it's playing back and listen how it changes the sound. So as you can see, they all sound different. Some of them work better than others. I usually find that if you start with auto, a lot of times that will work out just fine. But if you're still not getting the right sound, you can cycle through the other ones until you find one that sounds best. Now let's say we want to add a vocal sample. I've already got one picked out that was from the same project as that bass. Morning, glory, moonshine, space, come and... And of course, that is Nick DiVirgilio singing, NDV, sounding great as always. So let's drop him in. Now, this will not fit, of course, right away. Because this sample was recorded at a different speed than the current project. So just like the bass, we're going to have to time stretch it. It should be easy for me to take it over and match it up with the bass sample. If I zoom in and press option and drag, I can get it to line up perfectly. There it is. Now it should line up. Morning, glory. 
<laughs> yeah, but uh, something's wrong. The pitch is still not right. Oh, that sounds funny. But I can double click once again and I can go to my mode and find something that changes the pitch back and makes it sound the best it can sound. Once again, if I want to change the tempo of the project now or any time after I've added audio samples, all the samples will be fixed to match the tempo. So let's say I want to make this super fast and go to 160 BPM. It will ask if I want to restretch all the channels. I'll say yes. And now as you can see, none of them have changed position. Everything's the same amount of measures in the same length. The only thing that's changed is the BPM. Morning, glory. There's a couple other options I want to tell you about. If you go to the button next to the name of your audio sample that looks like a waveform, it's right there. The mouse will turn into a hand when you're hovering over it. If you click that, it'll open this menu. and You can go to Detect Tempo or Fit to Tempo. Detect Tempo will detect the tempo of your sample and then apply that to the whole project. Fit to Tempo will fit your sample to match the BPM of the project or the tempo of the project. Hey, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks so much for watching. Morning, glory.